What's up guys, Brian here in the lab. Today's video, we're gonna talk about feeding crested gecko, specifically how to mix up prepared crested gecko diets like the Zoomed, Rapashi, Pangea, Black Panther Zoological, Leap and Leachies, Big Fat Gecko, any of those foods that I've recommended in the past in different videos, we're gonna go over how to mix those up properly, what the consistency should be, how they should look, show you guys the best ways to mix them so you can feed your geckos, have them healthy, feed them efficiently, everything you need to know. Thanks for joining me, let's get into it. guys before we get into mixing the food I'm going to show you a couple different food dish options that I highly recommend based on how many geckos you have how old your geckos are those types of things so let's get into that first first up this is the most popular the Pangea ultimate magnetic ledge it's made to look like a rock it's magnetic so it clips right to the side of your cage right through the glass it'll stay up it's steady it'll hold any size gecko these are really popular really cool highly recommend these if you have a nice decorated cage that you want to add a good looking food dish to this is your best option they also make acrylic cages if you want a different look this is the small size they make a bigger one they hold these little cups goes right in there again magnetic right to the side of your cage these are really nice as well. What I use, I prefer these guys. It's a, just called a small pet food dish. You get them at Petco. They're sold in like the hamster or gerbil section. They work great. They hold a two inch or two ounce souffle cup. Fits perfectly in it. And these things are almost impossible to tip over. The geckos can crawl under them. They can't tip them over. These work really well. Also, Pangea sells just a basic food dish. It's just shaped like a rock. Has the same same cup as this guy in it something a little more basic sits on the bottom of your cage they've got a smaller dual dish one for food one for water another great option and then for babies what i use is contact lens cases so i order these by the thousands wholesale from some place in china you could just go to the store and buy a pack of 10 of them if you've got a handful of geckos get 10 or 100 or however many you need contact lens cases work great you put food in one side water in the other when it's time to feed if you got a bunch of geckos you just take this out you have extras put a new one in wash all the dirty ones works perfect it really streamlines the feeding process for anybody that has a high number of geckos but if you've got younger geckos and you only have a couple or you're not interested in contact lens cases I like the dual stone cup holder from Pangea. It's a small size. It holds plenty of food. Even for an adult gecko, this holds plenty of food. Good looking, easy to clean, economical. I like this for adult geckos, obviously. The Pangea Magnetic Ultimate Ledge is the way to go. If you have a lot of geckos and you're feeding a routine, high number of adults, these guys are the way to go. That's a quick rundown of some different food dish options for you guys. Let's get into mixing up the food. So first up, I'm going to show you how to mix up food for one gecko or maybe just a couple geckos if you're mixing food in each individual dish. The things you're going to need here, obviously, is a bag of gecko diet, the food dish that you're going to fill up, in this case, the Pangea stone holder with the cup, and I like to use a little screwdriver. This is just an, an old sc small screwdriver I have. It came with my sprinkler system. Any small screwdriver, or some people use a toothpick, um, Anything small like that you can use to stir up the food is really, really key and makes this a lot easier. So for this demo, I'm going to be using the Zoomed food. There's a whole bunch of good gecko diets out there. I've got a lot of videos on that. So if you need a recommendation for a good diet, check our playlist. I've got a complete crested gecko review video that will show you the best gecko diets to use. But this Zoomed diet, the newer Zoomed diet, the reason I'm going to use this for today's demonstration is because... They ship the Zoomed diets with a scoop inside them, which is super, super helpful. As I spill gecko diet all over the table, it gets everywhere, it's inevitable. But this scoop is incredibly helpful. If you don't have a diet, I would recommend buying one bag of this Zoomed just to get the scoop or buying a scoop similar to this just for the measuring purposes for mixing your food. But this scoop tends to be a good amount to feed an adult gecko. Usually two of these scoops is good for an adult and one is good for a younger gecko. So we'll do this twice. The first one I'm gonna do an adult gecko with this larger Pangea stone gecko feeder. Now obviously you wanna take the disposable food dish out, 
you can feed the food right inside here. It's just easier to use a disposable dish. I find you can wash and reuse these disposable dishes plenty of times, 20 or 30 times before you need to buy a new one. They're really easy to wash. They're a lot easier to wash than this. And then you just leave this in the cage. So we are going to just start with that dish. And for an adult, about two scoops. Just take one, two scoops of gecko diet pour them right in there. And then depending on the brand of gecko diet you're using, it's anywhere to two to three parts water for one part gecko diet. So that means for two scoops of gecko diet, we'll start with four scoops of water and then add more as necessary. I've just got my little squirt bottle here so I can easily add one, two, three, four scoops of water. And as you can see that about fills up this dish and then I just use my screwdriver to slowly stir it around without spilling it. And it does take a few minutes to stir it and get all the clumps mixed together. But as you can see, it starts to thicken up nicely. And for this Zoomed food, four parts water is about perfect. Now when you first mix the food up, it will be a little more watery and as it sits, it will thicken a little bit. And ideally, the consistency you're going for is about that of ketchup. Anywhere between ketchup and a thick milkshake is what you want. And as you can see, that's a little bit waterier. It will thicken up as it sits, but having a small screwdriver or something like this to stir it with is perfect. It helps so much. So if you're just feeding one gecko, that's all you gotta do. Measure out your food. Like I said, with the Zoomed, it's two parts food two parts water, I'm sorry, to one part food with some of the other brands. Uh, some of the Pangeas mix up a little thicker so you can do one part food to three parts water. You just have to test the food that you're using and try it. That right there is a perfect amount to feed your adult gecko every two to three days. There will be extra food left over. You always wanna feed more than your gecko will eat just so you can be assured that your gecko is getting enough to eat. If there's no food left over, your gecko might want more food. So feed a little extra. It's cheap enough food that you can overfeed just to feel confident your gecko's getting everything they want. They will not overeat. They're not like some animals that will eat and eat and eat until it hurts them physically. They, they'll only eat when they're hungry and when they need it. So feed a good amount of food. Your gecko will probably only eat about half of that, if that, but you wanna feed extra so they have plenty of food. That's how you mix up food for an adult. Let's do it again for a baby. I'm gonna use the smaller cup. This is out of our Pangea dual stone holder. This is nice because you can put water in one side, food in the other, and the same idea. Just wanna take your scoop, do about one level scoop of the Zoomed diet. And like I said, this works for all the different brands of food. Pangea and Rapashi is the one we use most here. Two scoops of water that about fills it right to the top and then carefully stir it around just like that as you can see it's getting that nice thicker than water kind of ketchup consistency that's perfect go ahead and drop that guy right inside your dual stone cup holder and there you go. Put this right in your baby's cage or leave this in your cage. Put the food in there. That's plenty of food for any baby or juvenile gecko. Even a small baby gecko only needs about a quarter of this. So you could even do a half scoop of food and one full scoop of water for a real small gecko. Anything 10 grams or larger, that is plenty of food for two to three days. They are not even going to eat close to all that but it's good to overfeed, like I said. So that's a real quick, easy guide on how to mix up Food for one or maybe two or three geckos if you're mixing each dish by hand. That's the proper consistency you want to look for. One part food, two parts water, maybe three parts water if you need to thick, uh, thin it down a little bit if it's too thick. But it should be that ketchup or milkshake consistency. So if you've only got one or two or maybe a handful of geckos and you're mixing up the food in each individual dish, that's the way you do it. That's a good look at the consistency you want the food to be. And like I said, feed every two to three days, your geckos are gonna be happy. But let's say that you got a gecko and then you figured out how addictive they are and you ended up with like 10 or 12 or 20 geckos or like 3,000 of them, like some people who won't be named. 
So let's say you've got a ton of geckos and you need to figure out how to feed all of them quickly, more efficiently with a larger collection. So what you wanna do, there's a lot of ways to go about this. The most common way is people will tell you to get one of these shaker bottles. This is the kind of bottle people use for uh, protein shakes, like when they go to the gym to mix up a protein shake. It's just a water bottle with this kind of springy metal ball inside of it. And you put that in, put your food in and shake it up. And this ball shakes around and this helps break up the clumps of gecko diet. Gecko diet and protein powder are about the same consistency and you mix them up to the same consistency. So the thinking there is very sound and that is a good way to do it. However, it's not the most effective way to do it. Sometimes this ball just isn't good enough to break up all the clumps of diet. Sometimes it just doesn't quite get the job done and you end up with thick clumpy food or dry spots of clumped gecko diet in your food. A better way to do it realistically for not that much more money, because these are pretty cheap, but for not that much more money, I would recommend getting a smoothie blender like this guy, a small smoothie blender. So this is the Ninja, Ninja style blender. It's kind of a more expensive one. You can get a cheap, small smoothie blender that looks just like this at Walmart or Target for like $20. A good blender bottle is 10 or 15 bucks. So for just a few more dollars, I would highly recommend getting a smoothie blender. And this makes it so much easier to mix up a larger amount of food if you're feeding a lot of geckos. The next thing you need is a squeeze bottle. You can get these again at any, any uh, basic store, Walmart, the dollar store usually has them. And it's just like a ketchup bottle, a clear ketchup bottle. So the best way to do is mix your food up in the blender, put it in the ketchup bottle, and then you have an easy way to dispense it into a large number of food dishes very quickly. It makes feeding a lot of animals a lot easier. Let's go ahead and mix up some food. I'll show you how that works now in a bigger amount. All right, so mixing up a larger amount of food for a bigger collection of geckos. I usually buy these bigger jars of rapashi. They're nice because they also come with a nice scoop to help you measure it out. So it's real easy. Again, I prefer to use these blenders. And I always add the water first because sometimes if you add the gecko food first and then you add the water, the gecko food kind of gets glued to the bottom of the cup and, uh, you end up having to go back in with a knife or a little spatula or something and scrape it off, which just isn't very convenient. And when you get to larger amounts of food like this, you know, once you, once you mix up enough food, you get to the point where you can pretty easily eyeball how much food versus how much water you need. So I, I tend when I'm feeding, I don't really measure it out exactly like I did with the smaller amount. I just kind of eyeball it. I know it's gonna be close. And then if I need to go back later and add more food or more water to get the consistency right, I can. But basically, this just makes it so much easier. You put your food and water in there, put it on your blender. A few quick turns and you've got perfectly made quick food. It's so easy, so fast. You don't have to stand here and shake it. You don't get those dry clumps, super easy. They do make lids for these as well that have a, a pouring spout. So it's a little easier to pour this then into your squeeze bottle. But I'm just gonna show you guys the consistency you're looking for. This is about perfect. You see how that pours? It's real thick, just like you would get a milkshake or real thick, good ketchup. That is absolutely perfect, that consistency right there. You can pour that right into your squeeze bottle and then it's super easy just to go down the line on a bunch of different cages and feed them all at once. As you can see, so much faster than trying to mix each cup up individually. I highly recommend if you're going to feed a large number of geckos, get yourself a, a, just a cheap smoothie blender. Like I said, Walmart or Kmart or even Amazon. I mean, who goes to the show store and shops these days, right? Trust me, I work at UPS. I know y'all are ordering everything online. Get online, get on Amazon. I'll link one down below. Hell, I'll make this easy on you. I'll put a link down below for a cheap, good smoothie blender. If you've got a lot of geckos, get one of those. You won't regret it. It makes your life so much easier. Thank you so much for watching guys. I think that all that's all I have for you today. I can barely talk. That's all I got for you today. Just a real quick video. 
how to mix up your gecko diet, showing you guys the proper consistency it should be. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions at all about feeding your geckos, leave me comments down below, shoot me a message, altitudeexotics.com, uh, Facebook and Instagram is at aegeckos. Shoot me a message if you guys have any questions about feeding your geckos, I'm always happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Brian here, Altitude Exotics. Have a great day. We'll see y'all soon.